So we actually uh, tripled our reaction as opposed to um, using three mils and using nine mils. And our iron. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, the other one. The other one? Yeah, so there's two parts. Half of the class has done part three, and the other half has done part four. We're doing, basically, we're doing both parts right now. And you're, um, I'm assuming that we're all going to be responsible for both parts yep. in the lab. So, um, that will work. Blurry. It's blurry. That's a good, uh, good point. What's a word we can use to, what's a scientific term to translucent? Translucent? What does translucent mean? That's an excellent, um, yeah, that's actually perfect to describe it. So it's translucent. What color is it? Dirty yellow, yeah. So even from our uh, full beaker, we can kind of get a better idea of what color it is. It's yellowish. We could have somebody take some pictures as well, so we can have not the whole uh, experiment, but just before, during, and after observation. Does somebody here have a camera? So three, two, one. How long did that take? It was really quick, eh? Do you want me to try that again? Now you kind of know what uh, to expect. Okay, three, two, one. Point six. Point six seconds? Did all of the purple disappear that quickly? Let's try that again, one more time, just to give us a few. Three, two, one. Go. One point one. Okay, one point one seconds. Let's let's write these observations down before we. Our first reaction was with our iron uh, solution, so I'm just going to write down the iron part. And what was the time again, Mary? 1.1. 1. 1.1 1. 1 seconds is how long it takes for the purple to disappear. And it's at room temperature, which I will write as RT, so that represents room temperature. So our next reaction is our oxalate. Solution. And we took a op clever observation of this, that this is, what, what color is this? This is our uh, oxalate. Clear. Transparent. That, that tells us how opaque or clear it is. But what color is it? It's colorless. There's no color. It's, it's confusing, actually, to decipher between is it clear or is it colorless? And those are two completely different things. This is. is semi-clear, but it has a color to it. This is completely clear and it has no color. So it's clear and colorless. And I'm going to need the timer again. Okay, if you want to come up, you can you can do the timer this time. Excellent. So let's get this one started to take perhaps a little bit longer. Okay, I'm going to count down and then you can start your timer right away. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, it's a beautiful color, yeah, and it's uh, magenta. It is. See, there's another point. This is clear, but it's purple. So there's a big difference between clear and colorless, and clear and color. So I'll let you observe this, and let me know when it uh, gets to be clear. Does everyone understand how I did that? Okay. The second part. We're doing a little bit of a variation of part four, where I'm going to take the same reaction, but heat them up. And right here we have about a 50 degree water bath, which is what we're going to use to uh, heat up the same reaction. So ask the uh, um, maybe additional volunteers to give us. Did you want to? Did you pour it last time? Did you want to pour some more again? Because you had done it so well the first time. So about nine mils of our iron and about. Um, it's okay if it's not completely exact. Just a little bit of work. So we get it. It's purple. 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 It's
The amount of the same, yeah, between the part, the first part and the second part. Yeah. So the only thing I'm changing with this reaction and the other one is this one is going to be heated up. The other one is exactly the same, so not, uh, 9 mils of our iron. Do you mean, what other one are you using? Not this one, but... The oxalate. So that's about 9 mils of oxalate. Then it is time. That's great. Thank you. I'm just kidding. It was perfect. So oh, great. Different. Thank you very much. Only difference between part three is that we should hold every time. Yes, it's the only difference. Good point. So oxalate and About three mils of our so what is the difference between these reactions and these reactions? Exactly. One is warm and the other one's at room temperature. This one's about at fifty degrees. So for iron. And it's at about 50 degrees Celsius. And our oxalate. So what, is, what do you predict will happen with the ones that are heated up? If I add our permanganate, purple permanganate, what do you expect? Okay, let's test it out then. Or it should go faster. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's actually put it to the test since we're not entirely sure. So I'm going to need some more primers. Oh, that's, that's okay. Did you, want to, um, did you want to take a picture of our heated solution? And eventually that will kind of mix together. I hope I'm not spraying your textbook. And we'll keep it heated. And our iron one, which took, which was much faster than this one. I'll have one more timer for us. Are you ready? Did you yeah. want to come a little bit closer just so you can see exactly when the purple is? Okay. Like okay. I'm going to count down. Three, two, one. Done. Oh, it was done like as soon as I added it. Yeah. Try that again? Yeah. Three, two, one. Whoa. Zero point five. Okay. Let's yeah, that's 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 about that's 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 I'll put that at point one second just to the point seven or four. So our iron at fifty three takes about zero point one seconds. Uh mine was fifty six seconds. Oh wow, it's already done. That's excellent. So the uh -huh. oxalate is that okay? That's okay. <laughs> it is your last, so I'm sorry. It's gonna take a while. This one's still going. It's still really bright purple. This is a room temperature oxalate. Wow. That was very quick. That's excellent. So temperature. Yeah, that's the effect of temperature. So, if we go back to yeah. part one, what happened in part one at the room temperature reaction? Why did this 